History is the study of the past, especially how it relates to human beings, since men could record the accounts of events in written script. Stories which were recorded as histories must have been only the important events occurring in the past which mostly concerned humans or human society, as stated by a professor of history. If that is the case, I have an event which is about to be recorded as yet another important piece of world history to tell you about. There is a small town on an island which might be hard to pinpoint on the world map. It is a place far away from material advances and technologies and unknown to the public, even to people in the same province. San Enrique is a municipality in the province of Iloilo, Philippines. It has a total population of 35,000 and a total with land area of around 21,053 acres. Over 80% of the land is devoted to agriculture with no tourist attractions or malls. The majority of the people are farmers, but the future of this place is about to change. Currently, the municipality of San Enrique has a female mayor who used to hold the highest military title of general. She is also the first female general in the Philippines. I started with the rank of a private, which is the lowest rank in the organization. And when I retired, I was a general. I retired optionally. It was seven months short of my compulsory retirement. I decided to run for mayor of this town because I strongly believe that I could make a difference. Since childhood, it is my desire to help improve our town. She has an unconventional concept of development because what she perceives as the most crucial resource to develop is the human mind. To me personally, I would like to give good decisions for my town and for my people. And I could only do that where I have peace within myself. And I would like this peace to spread to my people because I am very sure that it will not only benefit them personally, but they could also spread to, your, to their children and to their family. However, her inspiring goal can never be achieved alone. I met Vulnerable Boreen at the airport. I thought um, he was a monk from Tibet. And I, I was so I was so strongly forced something was telling me, approach him, approach him. He's from Tibet. He said no, he's from Thailand. And I said, Oh please bless me because I am running for mayor for my town. So I have big dreams for my town. He gave me the picture of the um, abbot and he said, yes, I will pray for you. And then after that, I didn't see him anymore. The second time that I saw him was already in the Capitol building. He was meeting the governor and he was already inviting people to go to Savannah City for the Light of Peace event in 2014. And he gave me an invitation. And I heed to that invitation. I went to Savannah. That's why I personally witnessed what happened to Savannah. I was so impressed 
that I wished to myself that that time of event could or would happen also to Sun in Reading. I came to uh, visit Thailand and uh, I was able to uh, meet the abbot and there, when I was there, it confirmed my desire to do good things for my town. I cannot do it alone. From that moment, the vision of Inner Peace Town began in the mind of Mayor Ramona with the support from the chairperson of the Middle Way Meditation Institute, Pratep Yan Mahamuni, Luang Pa Damachayo. The first step of Inner Peace Town mission was the training program for key people from different sectors in San Enrique, such as the heads of communities and school headmasters under the three-day Inner Peace Leader Training Program. All of the activities held were seen as new, and even though many participants had not experienced it before, it gave them good impressions, smiles, and inner happiness. Uh, when I meditated, so I saw a light. Again, I said that the color is violet. It's sparkling. And then a, a crystal, the color is violet. I think so nice to feel good inside my body, in mind. Uh, it's good, it's good. Uh, you can see the lights in your mind. It's so clean. But progressing San Enrique into the first inner peace town in the world is going to be much more intense and exhilarating. In the second step of Inner Peace Town mission, San Enrique receives support from the chairperson of the Middle Way Meditation Institute, Pratep Yan Mahamuni, Luang Pa Damachayo, as he dispatched 40 teaching monks from Thailand to teach meditation to all of the people in this town. It was quite mesmerizing for the townsfolk who are devout Catholics to see Buddhist monks wearing saffron robes everywhere around the municipality. No one knew how welcoming of people from a different faith would affect the people of San Enrique, and these are the stories that would take place in the next 16 days. Here in our town, it's a good that we will initiate this peace that is being decided by everyone in the world. I hope we can go on with our uh, advocacies that we can be uh, agent of peace, not only here in our community in the Philippines, but even in the whole world. So we thank you for coming. We thank you for advocating this very wonderful advocacy. The Middle Way Meditation Institute has come to our place. We are thanking for this opportunity that they have come in order to help us attain our peace in the town, bringing that peace to its family and also to the whole world. We are hoping and praying that all these things will be done and will be achieved, especially in our town and our families. First, I don't know who they are. But since they are very nice and friendly and talk to us and they are giving the world peace and they are teach us how to UG. So I talk to myself that those are the people 
that we need in order to have a world peace in our country and also to an our inner peace. As my first time when I saw the monks, I was so blurred in my mind. What will they do here? And then uh, when Venerable Ben uh, talked to us and explained about the five universal goodness and during meditation, so I experienced the happiness and the brightness which I was not experienced before. They're kind. Yes, I, I like the monks. And before, we thought that monks are different in religion. But I said to my uh, community that they do not uh, promote religion, but they want that our barangay must be peaceful. Despite almost 100% of a Catholic population and a language barrier, there were no obstacles between the teaching monks and the people of San Enrique in understanding each other since peace and love are borderless among any faith or religion. I don't know what is my expression during the time that I meditate because it is I, I saw um, a light which is a beautiful light that came inside my heart, a feeling that I can't imagine and I can't express. We're very, very thankful because our barangay will have a peace and have a orderliness. The meditation teaching program lasted for only 16 days and reached tens of thousands of people in 28 barangays. After a few days had passed, we realized that the initial plan seemed not to be working as we had hoped for. But then an unexpected thing happened. Barangay Light of Peace was organized daily with great joy and happiness by the San Enrique Hons, who were the main workforce organizing 21 events in 13 days with the participation of more than 12,000 people. These non-stop Light of Peace events in just 13 days is like a Light of Peace marathon whom the organizers cannot stop running till reaching the finish line. This great peace phenomenon has created the inner brightness to a large number of people of San Enrique every day like a miracle. I feel so happy the first meditation in this barangay for blessing Lord. Uh, first time in history to take these opportunities in San Enrique. I'm so happy that I joined this uh, Light of Peace here at Ilawood. 
and I, I feel so have an inner peace and an inner happiness and I feel so so whole and I'm so happy I uh, expand the peace throughout the world to Russia to China to America Africa and all of Middle East we have to really have a true peace in us and I'm so grateful that we have contributed a lot on this evening in having a true peaceful world. Um, after that meditation with LP Burin, I feel like very light. I feel like uh, my eyes see new things all around me even if uh, this place is not new to me. Um, when I journey back to home um, in the afternoon, um, the road and all the structures, all the house, the trees and the other peoples I see is like, I'm like, I'm smiling all the time and seeing new things, everything. Like, wow, what, like the light have, have brightened inside me. So it, it was really cool to have the meditation process here. So. I already felt so blessed um, receiving the Mass um, from the church. After which we had a meditation. So at that point, it, it was really very nice. I, I feel so light because I felt like I've seen the ano, a, a Lord. It was not a clear image of the Lord, but um, that image that, that the Lord is there and He's covered with light. So I feel like He was talking to me, and or I was talking to Him, and I was like um, saying, "Forgive me, Lord, for all the sins that I've done." So at that, at that point, I was really very happy that I was able to do that to him. So yeah, that was a really nice experience. And now the San Enrique Hans know the origination of their smiles. These are smiles that money cannot buy. During the 16 days of this mission, the townspeople gave their full support for the benefit of themselves and their community as they were fully aware that the teaching monks had come to spread inner peace. Uh, yes, because of uh, our, um, our bending together, make us, uh, although a uh, few days <coughs> we were together, it makes us uh, uh, like a member of our family. Although I'm sad, uh, I know I am happy also for they will, they will uh, help some more. Uh, yes, because of our, um, our bending together, make us, uh, although a uh, few days <coughs> we were together, it makes us uh, uh, like a member of our family. Although I'm sad, uh, I know I am happy also for they will, they will uh, help some more, some more people to have inner peace in their own. July 25th, 2015 was a day to celebrate the victory of Barangay Light of Peace Marathon. More than 1,000 inner peace leaders from 28 barangays had come together under the leadership of Mayor Ramona to light candles to create the message of 10,000 brightness in IPL Light of Peace to mark the success of brightness outreach to San Enrique Hons. They also make a resolution together to bring all people with inside brightness to create outside brightness with 10,000 candles on the full moon of 29th of August, 2015. It will be a momentous occasion for San Enrique to be declared to mankind as the first inner peace town in the world. The inner brightness within the minds of over 10,000 San Enrique Hons will be a key model for creating inner peace culture for the whole world in the near future. The 10,000 brightness phenomenon will be seen as an event worth remembering and talking about for a long time. The story will go on that once upon a time, 
a big group of Buddhist monks from Thailand visited this devoted Catholic land to share inner peace that goes beyond religions and beyond beliefs. It creates happiness and smiles, making a legend for the world to hear. Light a candle for me, light a candle. 